I literally sat down to film this intro and my neighbor comes out with this whipper snipper. I waited it out a little bit, but I just feel like he's trying to have some fun out there and he keeps looking for things to use. So we're going to proceed. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stancy and welcome to today's video. Now today's video is one that I've wanted to film for quite a while. I was actually talking to my sister about it a while ago as well. And I was saying how I want to film it, but I feel like I incorporate it in all my videos. So then I thought the greatest thing to do is actually turn it into one video. So I thought I'll give you guys some hints and some tips of the way I style and the things that I sort of look out for when I'm getting dressed for going out or for photos as like I feel like you know we can always help each other out if we want to look like I guess the best version out of ourselves. Now I'm definitely not saying that you should follow these all the time and I definitely recommend to wear whatever it is that you want to wear. But for me personally when I go out I like to look like the best version of myself you know, sometimes, okay, maybe not, but most of the time I want to look like the best version of myself and I just want to look like put together and I like things to look flattering on me. That's sort of the stuff that I go for. So if you like something like that, stay tuned for the video and see the things that I'm going to show you. In a reason, this is why I started my channel in the first place. I just wanted to share styling tips with everybody because I love fashion and I love styling myself and I guess we all have our own taste and I just, you know, enjoyed like sharing it with everybody else. And I know sometimes along with this like body positive movement, things can get controversial and people are very offended these days by a lot of things, but please don't be offended. This is like a lighthearted video and it's for all of us, not just us plus size people, it is for all of us. So stay tuned, enjoy and let's get started with the video. Now my first tip is my absolute favorite. It is such a game changer for me and it is something that I have been using for like a big portion of my life and that is shapewear. I absolutely love shapewear and if you wear it the right way it can do wonders for you now look I understand some people don't enjoy it they feel like it's too tight restricting and they just don't like it I recommend getting the right size for you don't get one that's too tight I always get one that's actually my size and doesn't cut in anywhere I make sure it's the ones that come all the way up and kind of nearly to the knee down the bottom that way it covers all of my area and I don't feel uncomfortable because if it's too small it's definitely going to squeeze you in too much and it is very uncomfortable. Now granted if you're possibly like a really skinny person you only have a belly you know shapewear is going to just like pull your belly in. If you're a bigger girl like me you're pretty much big everywhere and shapewear is not going to all of a sudden make you skinny. To me that is not the point of it. The point of shapewear is just to give you that smooth line and just kind of like to look even and put together. So it doesn't actually have to be a smaller size. If you get the right size it's still going to smooth you out. It's going to be comfortable on you and you can actually get sh shapewear for as cheap as like $20 from Target. My favorite one is definitely the one from City Chic. It is a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit thicker and I don't mind it but I do like the Target ones as well. I just find that the Target ones don't go up to a bigger size. I feel like they only go up to like a 20 and sometimes they can be a little bit too tight on me which I don't like whereas the City Chic ones go up to a higher size. And if you've never given shapewear a go, please, please go ahead and try it. It's not just for special occasions. You can use it on the daily. As I said, if you get the right size, it can do wonders. Now, let me show you the difference of with shapewear and without shapewear. Let's start off with how I look like in this dress without shapewear. This is me standing free form. Haven't pulled my stomach in. I'm not sticking it out either. I've pulled the dress all the way down. And you guys can see that this area is just showing, you know, the lumpity bumpities that a lot of us don't want everyone to see. I know some people don't care. They're happy, you know, just to go out. That's, that's fine also, but this is just to show you guys how you can kind of camouflage that and sometimes it makes us feel a little bit better about ourselves when we've gone out and it's not too over the top. Now I do get we all have different body shapes, but that does not matter. So let me show you how now this is going to look like when I put shapewear on. Okay, so I have the shapewear on. Now, as you can see, I am still me. I still have my belly, I still have my hip dips, I still have all of that. However, the shapewear has just sort of smoothed it out a little bit. So it kind of like the dress sits a little bit nicer, it'll sit a bit lower as well, and it just flows better. Now, when I first started wearing shapewear, it was mainly for the chafing. That's always have to wear the long ones because, you know, I have the rubbages on the thighs, and that's why I needed it. And then I realized, 
when I wear it, like my outfits look better too. I recommend pull them up as high as you can so you don't get any lines there either because you don't kind of want a muffin top. Well, what would be the point of trying to smooth things out if you have muffin tops? Now, if you're someone who doesn't have chubby legs like me and you can, you know, walk without it, then you can wear just the undie ones and you have no problem with that either. Don't get a size that's too tight because you don't want it digging in there. It's, I can see how uncomfortable that is. And especially the higher up you're going to wear them, just make sure you get a good size. Don't get a size too small. So yeah, the main thing I want to point out was it's not going to do miracles. It's not going to get rid of my stomach or anything like that. But I feel like it's going to make my outfit stay a bit nicer and make me feel better. So this next look is how to go from frumpy to fab. Now I know you're looking at this dress and you're going, what a pretty dress, because it absolutely is. It's such a cute little winter dress. Uh, however, as you guys can see, I feel like it looks frumpy. It's baggy here and then it's doing nothing for my shape at all. Uh, my boobs, especially someone like me, my boobs sort of come out, which means the dress just sits all the way straight down to the bottom of my legs. Same, I guess, if uh, if you're bigger in this area, it will just sit straight down and then you look like you're wearing a tent. Whilst it's sort of pretty, it just looks boring. And also the fact that it's like kind of patterned and it just sort of sticks out, I feel like you could actually make it look like a lot better. Now you could definitely wear it like this if you wanted to, but here's how you can make it look a lot better. This dress actually comes with a sash, but I wanted to show you with a belt because most of my outfits I would wear a belt. Now I've grabbed this black belt and all I'm going to do is just pop the belt around my waist. Regardless of, oops, better put it the right way, regardless of the size of your waist, this works for everybody, I would say. I can't talk and put a belt at the same time. <laughs> Regardless of whether this belt is the right belt for this dress, look at what a difference it did on the way the dress looks on me. You can see I have boobs, you can see I have a waist, you can see I have a bottom area here too. And I just feel like it really makes the outfit just look more appealing to the eye. It kind of shows off the dress a little bit more too, especially I guess with this dress because of the sleeves coming, it's nice when that comes in. So I feel like a belt just makes an outfit look so much put together. And even if you don't have a waist, when you pop a belt there, it just shows that you have a waist. The belt draws the attention to this area, which then makes you look like you do have a waist if that's what you want to look like. The belt draws you to look at your waist area so then you look like you have a waist and I just feel like a belt always just looks good. I know belts aren't always in fashion and that doesn't matter. You can get a thick belt, a thin belt, you can do, do a sash. It's always going to look great especially if you have a baggy dress to like cinch in the waist. You guys know, if you know my videos, you know I do this on bodycon dresses as well. I just feel like it really points to the waist and just kind of shows off that area. So definitely recommend wearing a belt. So in this next outfit, I'm showing you something that I did a lot throughout the year 2000s and that was wearing my top out. Now, as you guys can see, I feel like it looks very casual and it just kind of does nothing for me. It sort of makes the skirt look shorter, uh, doesn't really like show the skirt a lot and the top is boring as well, but also it just, I used to wear more to kind of, I think because I had a belly and I just wanted to like feel like this way it was covered by wearing the top out. But look at what a difference it makes when you wear the top tucked in. Don't you think it looks better? It looks more stylish and put together. I know sometimes we're afraid of just having like this area out in the open, especially if we have a bit of a belly or we're plus size because we're sort of scared that like it's not camouflaged. But I feel like if your whole outfit looks good and on point, that area just won't be as noticeable if that's something that like you're trying to hide. This is why bodysuits are fantastic and it's great that bodysuits have been in because that's pretty much like wearing a top tucked in. Because I know it's like when you have a top, sometimes it's too short and it shows under the skirt. I've definitely done it lots of times, but my bunch up. So bodysuits are fantastic for this point. I feel like my friend Annetta was so ahead of this game. She, back in the 2000s when I was wearing my top over, she was wearing it tucked in and I just thought it was a work thing. And then I started doing that and now I haven't stopped. I just feel like it's such a great way to go. It's so put together and just does a lot for your outfit. Now I've moved us over here because we're going to be talking about shoes and I know my shoes get lost in the rug because it's quite fluffy. I'm also going to do this side by side so you guys can see the difference yourself. Now, there are so many shoes out there and we love them all. However, if you wear a nude shoe, it will make your leg look longer than wearing a black shoe. Now, black shoes are just classical. We love them and I still wear them too. doesn't matter. But if you do want your legs to look a little bit longer, if you have short legs like me, I recommend wearing a nude shoe. That way it actually makes your leg look longer. And if you want to look a bit taller, then you might look a touch taller. But I feel like 
that's the way to go. And on a similar note, we all know that heels make us look taller, like their heels, they are taller, they make you look taller and make your legs look nice too. However, if you're wearing shoes without straps, your legs will also look longer. See how I'm wearing these like nude pumps? My legs look so much longer than if I was to wear an ankle strap. The ankle strap kind of cuts you off and especially if you're wearing like a black, it cuts you off in the area and makes your legs look a lot shorter. So if that's not the look that you're going for, I, tr I definitely recommend wearing like nude pumps as this is like you're just kind of blending with your leg but makes you look nice and tall and makes your legs look a little bit slimmer. Now, you guys probably know me, I love a sandal, I like my leg to be kind of tucked in, I like short booties, so I don't always do these, definitely, these are just little hints for, you know, here and there where you want to wear them, like I still wear ankle straps all the time and it doesn't bother me at all. So this next tip is about stripes. Now, I don't know who came up with the thought of bigger people can't wear horizontal stripes, as horizontal stripes look great. I don't have anything with vertical stripes to show you guys the difference. I'll see if I can find something online of someone else wearing it just to kind of show you the difference. However, horizontal stripes actually camouflage. If you have a look, especially if this is like your problem area, it totally like camouflages because it's kind of curvy, like it curves that area out and it just doesn't actually emphasize it at all. I definitely don't think it makes me look any bigger. I mean, I'm definitely not a small person, so yes, I am big. I mean, nothing's going to make me look small, but I don't think it makes me actually look any bigger or any worse off. I actually think this skirt stays great on me, and I feel like the horizontal stripes are a must. So if you've been scared to wear horizontal stripes, uh, say the word. If you've been scared to wear horizontal stripes, don't be afraid. Go out there, get a whole dress with horizontal stripes if you want. Get a top, get bottoms pants what i probably don't recommend is pants that have horizontal stripes thick ones on each leg i feel like because they're not kind of even that might not be great however like a skirt like this perfect and lastly this is a little bit aligned with the tucking the top in however this is going to be about high waisted stuff now as you guys can see i'm wearing my skirt a bit lower we used this like remember when hipster skirts were in and hipstery sort of stuff and you know lower kind of things were in this is what it looks like as you guys can see it kind of makes my torso look a bit longer but it really emphasizes this like empty area here and it kind of cuts me right in the middle so then i look like half a top half a skirt which i get when you're wearing a skirt and top that's what you think you're meant to look like however somewhere once long ago i read an article about like a three quarter is that the word three quarter like a 70 30 60 40 i can't remember the ratio it does not matter uh on yourself so when you wear something high-waisted like let's pull this up it gives you that correct percentage so you've got majority skirt and then a little portion of the top so therefore you kind of look a little bit more put together and you're not cutting yourself right in the middle there's just something about it that not just because it's tucked in there's just something about it where you look more aligned uh, it is more slimming per se and it just looks a lot more flattering and this is also with jeans with pants that's why I have my city chic like the Harley corset other ones I have and they come up nice and high it's because of that same sort of rule where I kind of feel like the majority comes up I guess it's a little bit different with pants because you you do have all the legs to use so this is a little bit more for skirts but even with the jeans I just find like when it comes up higher and then you have a shorter sort of top bit it kind of aligns a little more easier and it kind of gives you more of like a smoother silhouette looking style if that makes sense and that brings us to the end of the video i do hope you enjoyed all the styling tips that i showed you guys today these have been part of my life for so long for as long as i can remember a lot of them i've kind of just thought of them on the fly like as i've been trying clothes on because you guys know i love to try on clothes and as i've been sort of styling myself i've seen what sort of works for me and what doesn't and sometimes i see things on other people as well and i think okay let me try that and see how it works on me i feel like that's the best way to do it just trial and error on yourself definitely wear whatever you want to wear this was just sort of some hints and tips of just things that if you wanted to kind of like emphasize something or just something to look a little bit different and if you're a little bit self-conscious as well i feel like it could also help you out 
please comment down below if you have any other styles hip hints tips anything comment down below and let me know as i'm always learning you know i'm always learning new things and i'm happy to get more information because i love fashion and i always want to look the best that i can for you know with whatever body i have because you know we only have one body if you did enjoy this video please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up i would truly truly appreciate it if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button below as well and join the stanzi star family because you know i give you guys a few videos a week so why not just join the channel and be part of it and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so so much for watching bye